Good afternoon, everybody. Unlike uh, Adrian's watch, mine actually works, so it will be three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved every word, I swear. I, I did, I did. But being Irish, you have to take a shot at some people once in a while. So just, uh, this, is, this is a great honor for me. Uh, I am uh, the, the grandson of uh, four Irish immigrants, and uh, I'm extremely proud of that. But uh, I have two really special people that are here with me today. Uh, my mom, Helen, she's, uh, I'm not going to tell everybody how old you are, but she is, uh, yeah, she's older than me, and she's still the boss, still the boss. She's got seven kids, and let's give her a round of applause. So actually, uh, growing up, I was number four, and at times I wasn't really sure if she really knew what my name was, but that's okay. <laughs> Being four is good. Youngest, not so good. Oldest, certainly not, not that good. And then my, my sister Sheila is here today, and she has been uh, my rock uh, my whole life. Uh, whenever I, I, maybe if I was going down, maybe not the wrong road, but maybe off to the side of the road, uh, she was always there, and uh, I love her for that, and she's, she's a great sister. Thanks, Sheila. Thanks. And, and I certainly wouldn't be standing up here if it wasn't for the 54,000 uh, men and women of the New York City Police Department and the thousands and thousands. <laughs> and the thousands and thousands of people that have come before us. Uh, you know, New York City was transformed, and it wasn't transformed by magic. It was transformed because of a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of police officers injured. Fortunately, police officers killed in the line of duty. And it's, this, is, uh, this, is how change, this is how change happens. You know, if you were here in 1990 when there were 2,200 homicides, or you walk outside today and you just feel safe. You know? It's not, maybe not in every block of the city, but we're working on that. And uh, what I see, the best part about my job now is, is what I get to see each and every day. And the hard work that the men and women do, uh, you know, they're out there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're missing holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, and that uh, they do it. They do it because they love it. They do it. Be they became police officers because uh, they want to make a difference. They want to do good, and and they do. And we certainly don't do it alone. Uh, we have great friends in in the FBI. And no matter what uh, you might hear from Washington, in New York City, Bill Sweeney is the assistant director in charge of that office, and they understand what their mission is. And their mission is to keep the city safe from traditional crime. And, uh, and from, from terrorism, too. And our friends in the DEA, the ATF, uh, the U.S. Marshal Service, these are people you really don't hear about that much, but they're just as responsible for keeping the city safe as the NYPD. And we have great partners in the prosecutors, the local prosecutors, the six of them, believe it or not, uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the Eastern District, the Southern District. But most importantly, most importantly, is the 8.6 million New Yorkers who understand that for this city to be truly safe, they have to be part of that. They have to pay attention to what's going on in the city. They have to trust us. And it's been a difficult five years. And everybody probably remembers 2014, 2015, after Ferguson, after Garner. So a lot of trust was lost with the NYPD. And we've been working at that each and every day. That's why so, I'm so proud of the men and women of the, NY, of the NYPD. Uh, before my three minutes is done, I just want to recognize two more people. Uh, two more people that uh, mean the world to me, uh, Patty Ann McDonald and uh, her son, Connor McDonald. Patty Ann is the wife of Stephen McDonald, a legendary figure in the NYPD who passed away in 17. Uh, just to everybody here, thank you very much. Neil, Patricia, thank you for this honor. It means so much to me. And I can't believe I have my my big head on the cover of a magazine, and my six brothers and sisters will never let me forget about it. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.